This one's for those who want to stand out because we're going all white EDC on this episode of What's In My Pocket. No racial. This episode is sponsored by Skillshare. I'll share some of my favorite courses later on, but they're offering the first 500 people that click the first link down below two months of Skillshare Premium for free. So let's check it out. For this non-racial, winter snow, Greek yogurt, white themed episode, we'll be rocking the new ASRV Urban Training Utility Vest. And no, I won't be flexing my miniature muscles in them, it just fits so well in this theme and has quite a few pockets to store your other snowflake colored items in. It's made of a Hypora waterproof technology, combined with these teensy waterproof zippers, it's great to keep your gear dry in the spring rainfall. It's got quite a bit of adjustability in the vest to fit a wide range of body types thanks to these swivel buckles. The whole vest is lined in a 3M thin suit to keep you mildly warm with Without the bulk of a winter jacket. A chest strap is included in case you do decide to carry a lot, but I generally don't need it on. So starting with the two main front pockets, it can surprisingly fit an iPhone XS Max inside. Mine is cased in an all-white Rhino Shield solid suit with that new silver foil stamping on the bottom. Attached above that is my wallet of choice, the Pop Socket Pop Wallet with a Pop Socket on top to complete the whole package. The solid suit cases have been one of my favorite cases since I've reviewed it and did this a few times. It withstood all that like a champ, but it doesn't end there. The button covers are actually replaceable too. They've got a range of button colors to choose from, so you can feel like you're wearing a whole new case every day of the week. On top of that, if you throw on their lens mount, you're able to attach their wide and macro combo lenses. Fun fact as well though, this lens mount is actually compatible with Moment lenses too. But shh, don't say you learned that from me. Pop open that pop socket, and this combo makes for some great wide photos. The case has a matte finish all around. It's not the grippiest, but also doesn't grease up from your sweaty palms. Even if it did, this premium model white marble pop socket would have you covered. This is pop socket's new line of real material like this genuine marble with a rose gold aluminum frame for all you fancy folk out there. Plus with their new swappable grips you can easily switch between a premium for a date night then over to a simple layman one for other regular days. And if this is the first time you've heard about these suckers they even double as a great phone stand. Under that though is where I store all my cards I can't digitize inside this white marble pop wallet. It comfortably stores three cards but can stretch for more if you're like greedy like that. Everything stays in securely but also completely removes when you want it to if you're looking to slim down once you get home. Lastly, a final look at that premium stamping. It comes in a silver foil finish you see here, but also in a gold and can accommodate up to six letters. And so with everything installed, it's all secured in, and I'm confident nothing is flying away no matter how hard I shake. Moving on to the opposite pocket with some smooth zipper action and actually a fairly spacious pocket, I store my quick access items. Starting off with my affordable white earbuds, the Funkel W1. This one's for those who complain about the outrageous price tag of AirPods. These guys come in at a third of the cost. They're smaller and don't stick out like a sore thumb. They support Bluetooth 5.0 with about 15 hours of total playtime with the charging case. They're also touch activated and mildly resistant with an IPX5 rating. Pretty much everything the big boys offer in a smaller and cheaper package. Although your music won't sound heavenly, it's good enough for your sweat sessions. In the same pocket, I have my key organizer. This is the KeySmart Pro, made of two poles for your keys to unravel from. It's what's inside this white shell that makes it special though. It's a plastic build all around and it's sturdy enough to take a beating on a daily basis. And although I only carry two keys, it can comfortably store up to six with extension rods available too. But it's these two buttons that make it worth every penny. The built-in flashlight has saved me many seconds trying to find the hole of the keyhole, you dirty minded. It's just bright enough that I'm not fumbling around like a drunk trying to get inside. Right under that though, they've got a tile built into this little guy. Double click and wabam. There's my phone I left on top of the toilet. You can make it sing straight from your phone and save yourself that stress every morning. Finally, it's also rechargeable. Yeah, a rechargeable tile. You heard it here first. Next, some miscellaneous white goodies, a Nivea hand lotion because the winter sucks for dry hands, and then just a tissue packet because I somehow always spill something even if there's no liquids around. These are some fairly spacious pockets that store flat when empty. Moving around back where the big boy pocket is, this pocket basically runs the whole length of the vest, which means quite a bit of room to pack within it can even fit an iPad. Again, lying in that thin slit padding throughout the whole backside, it actually makes for some nice cushioning. But unloading, I've got my A6 memo bottle as my choice of water carriage simply for the fact it stores flat. At the size of about an A6 notebook, this isn't your regular tube bottle. It stores about 375 milliliters and it's made of a durable plastic, so you don't have to worry about throwing it around or even sitting on it. This is my external battery of choice from Anchor, the power core light in this all white. This slim chocolate bar sized battery has a sweet matte white finish. With one use, USB output and a micro USB or USB-C option to charge it with. The main benefit of this is obvious when you pair it with a short cable like their 6-foot Powerline 2 Lightning cable. It's just about the size of an iPhone XS Max 
itself, which means you can easily hold these together and stay charged without having a hand cramp at the end of it. The 12 Self Airfly is a unique little adapter. It's a wireless audio transmitter, which is a really simple device, and it goes to show with its only interface being a single button. But this basically allows for dumb or retro devices without Bluetooth enabled to allow you to connect your favorite wireless headphones like AirPods or even the Funko W1 we highlighted earlier and listen to all your old school devices through that courageous wireless greatness. Next is for those who tend to lose everything they own, this is a dedicated Tile Pro tracker. Like we saw in the key spark, this new dedicated model can also ping your iPhone and vice versa so whatever you attach it on, whether it be your keys, a stuffed animal, or your pet hamster, you'll always be able to find it. Oh and the new Pro models have replaceable batteries too. Cha-ching! For the creative peeps out there, this is the Joby Grip Type 1 tripod combo in an all white and it's damn sexy. Unfolded, you'll see the spring-loaded mount along with the spin-out metal tripod legs. This package allows you to simply slot your iPhone into it and well bam selfie glory. There's a mini ball head built into the legs for some angle variability and combine that with the Rhino Shield lens mount and your lens of choice, you can finally be included in all your friends group photos too. It's an overall sturdy construction with some rubber feet that prevent it from sliding and my favorite part, easily folding it up into the size of two small Kit Kat bars. Moving along, this one's for wannabe magicians like myself, the beautiful Theory 11 Artisan Tech in a Wicked White Edition. This gold embossed box is already compelling enough, but getting inside, the card backs also have a reflective gold finish and it's glorious I tell you. Do all the tricks you want, play your favorite game of Big 2, or just fail at doing some cardistry moves. Pulling this deck out will automatically bring all the boys to the yard. This is definitely staying in my collection. And that's it for the ASRB Urban Training Utility Vest, designed for an active lifestyle but adapted here for the lazy ones who don't want to carry a bag. But before we continue, let's talk about our sponsor today, Skillshare. For those who don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in design, business, whatever you can think of, there's probably someone teaching it. And a premium membership gives you unlimited access, so you can join all the classes and communities that suit your needs and maybe even accomplish a New Year's goal, finally. Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning in 2019, and it's also super affordable. An annual subscription becomes less than $10 a month. My personal goal was to try and stay more organized and as you can tell from the background things can get a little messy so i'm actually taking a class from a fellow youtuber thomas frank on productivity i always like to learn about other creators workflows to see how i can improve on mine whether to become faster more efficient or just some tips and tricks i wouldn't have thought of myself and of course who better to learn from than the productivity master himself thomas frank a fellow youtuber he shares some tips and tricks on how he creates his videos and his workflow that i'm definitely going to incorporate in my workflow now so with the first link down below, for 500 of my subscribers, you'll get two months of Skillshare Premium for free so you can learn from the productivity master himself, Thomas Frank, or whatever else you want to learn. Back to the video. Now within this plain H&M hoodie pocket, I have a white sweat towel. I'm a sweater and I have no shame in admitting that, so I always have a towel on me when the weather gets warmer. On the flick of the wrist, Apple Watch Series 4, no, not in that pretty ceramic white, but decked out in some all white accessories, which I have to admit is starting to grow on me over an all black look. Starting with a strap, this is the official Apple sport band in all white. I personally prefer going with the real deal as I've read too many Reddit threads of users buying third party straps and having them snap and fall off their wrists. I paid too much for this tiny computer that tells me time to cheap out on the strap. Next, the speak and thin fit case for your watch. What is one of my favorite slim cases for the iPhone now covering up my watch face? Made of a very thin plastic with a matte white finish, it adds no bulk, has all the right cutouts, and provides just enough scratch protection it's worth keeping on. Plus this all white combo is definitely my favorite of this whole list. Next, although not quite white, this outfit utilizes a low pro pro tactic utility belt, which is just a long way of saying it's a belt with a bunch of loops on it for photographers to hang stuff on. On it, I've got a chrome industries pouch attached with a dispatch utility strap connected underneath. I won't go into detail for these guys, but for you sweaters out there, this makes carrying a towel or extra t-shirt a breeze with that magnetic fidlock buckle. Now the pouch does store some essential tools, starting with my multi-tool of choice, the Victorinox Spartan PS in an all white finish. I'm not a huge fan of the glossy finish as it will scratch up, but I love the black contrast of the blades and tools. This guy sports a large blade, small blade, can opener, bottle opener, wire stripper, basically more than enough to get the job done. I even added the tiny flathead accessory on the corkscrew just in case your glasses decide to fall apart on you, but more so because the corkscrew is completely useless. The whole package is minimal and like classic Victorinox style, there's also metal tweezers hidden on one side with a toothpick hidden on the opposite. This is a tool I can trust to use and take a beating in the process. 
Beside that in the front pocket, a Zippo in a matte white finish. What's there to say other than how cool you feel when you flick one open and give it a zinger. It's windproof, all white, and just feels badass to use. Now within the main pocket is another favorite in this list, the BitPoy version 2 handheld emulator. This is for you 90s kids, bringing back that huge old school Game Boy vibes, except now it fits in the palm of your hand and it's cool again to be retro. The buttons are responsive and fairly accurate to how the original ones felt. This little guy runs custom firmware that can emulate Super Nintendo, Game Boy, and even Neo Geo. The screen is just large enough, you don't need to squint, the colors are vivid, the gameplay is responsive, and the whole thing is built really well. Unlike other knockoffs that may cut corners to make it feel cheap, this one has every detail down and every cutout precise. It just feels great to hold in the hand, and yeah, sure, you can play all the games on your phone, if not better ones, but if you grew up on these, you know the value of having that D-pad and tactile button response. A touchscreen can never replace that feeling. Anyways, that's it for the pouch. The belt offers quite a bit of versatility to adapt to. Great for anyone that needs support for heavier carry like a camera. I utilize a spider holster that allows your camera to hang securely, keeping your hands free, but also quickly accessible when needed. My go-to pocketable camera of choice though, the GoPro Hero 7 Black, cased up in the official white GoPro silicone sleeve and lanyard combo. They also recently released an all white black model, if that makes any sense. But if you already own the 7 Black, adding the silicone sleeve is not only much cheaper to convert your GoPro to white, it also offers some decent protection from scratches and even light drops while keeping your screen raised from surfaces too. All the buttons and ports are still accessible except for the battery door which you'll have to peel back to get to. I highly recommend you strap the lanyard on though, it securely holsters it and is there for all you clumsy folks. The best thing about the GoPro is it's so wide no matter where you aim it, you're pretty much in the shot. Finally, adding that silicone case does help with scratch resistance and even drop resistance, although the GoPro is pretty rugged itself and the lens cover is replaceable if you do ever scratch that. Plus, adding that lanyard on does make it feel like you're holding like a point and shoot or something. That's the Lowepro Pro Tactic Utility Belt. I even have my Hero Clip attached on the back side. There's just so many options to carry extra with you without needing a whole bag. Next in my side zipper pocket of my Nike Tech Pack Pants, a teeny tiny notebook with a storage it clear passport cover. I always recommend carrying a physical notebook with you if you're the type to have ideas at the most random times. Being able to draw it out saves you hours of headache trying to recall it later. Inside the pouch, I store some crafty essentials, a mini ruler, this Raymade pen style portable scissors pen, which like a pen has a lid. And once you start to unfold each arm becomes a full fledged pair of scissors. Great for quickly prototyping something on the fly. Then folds right back up into the size of a pen again. Swanky. Finally, the pen we've all grown to love, the Fisher Space Bullet Pen, but this time in a sparkly pearl white. All metal design that opens up to a full size pen with a pressurized cartridge that allows you to even write upside down. And when stored away, it compacts down to the size of your finger. Sleek, durable, and oh so shiny. Last but not least, in my front pants pocket, this stone. Made from Howlite. This little guy is sort of like a fidget toy, but if you want to believe it, Howlite is also known as a stone to relieve those with anxiety. Being the introvert I am, whether that's true or not, the placebo effect of having a more positive mindset is enough to keep it on me. Plus, it really is nice to rub, as weird as that may sound. And that's it, my whiteout EDC collection. My favorite definitely has to go to the decked out Apple Watch in white, then that pearl white bullet pen because it's so damn cute to hold. But every item serves a purpose and I've handpicked everything to work together as well. Now don't be crazy, I don't expect you to carry all of this gear, but I do hope this at least gives you some ideas to spice up your own everyday carry. Don't forget the first thing down below for the first 500 people, you get two months free of Skillshare Premium where you'll get access to all their classes. All the other links are below that for everything else I shared today. Let me know what your favorite item was in the comments down below. I rest my case.